This is the Insta360 GO 3, and it's the world's smallest action camera. So let me show you all of the cool stuff that it can do. First things that stands out is just how small and light the form factor is. The camera weighs in at only 35 grams, making it highly portable compared to most action cameras out there. I guess the question on everybody's mind is, how many helium balloons would it take to launch this into the sky? I'm just doing this for science. How long do you think we'll be here? Let's try three. Four. Four. That's just me really being silly. We're gonna need to double up. But beyond being simply portable, the best thing about the small size of this camera is that there is no end to the amount of places you can put this to get some creative and original shots. Oh, and it's totally waterproof, so you can get cool looking shots like this. And in order to help you achieve these weird and wonderful shots, you have a range of accessories at your disposal. The ones that come included in the box is this magnet pendant, which is this little round medallion that goes around your neck, underneath your clothes, and it allows the Go 3 to magnetically attach. So you can wear it discreetly over the top of your clothing. It's even got an adjustable cord, so you can adjust the length that it sits at on your chest. Good for my long neck people out there, or short neck people. Got the best of both worlds. They've even implemented a new upgrade on the magnet pendant, where you can hide the string inside the pendant. Ah! We're back at square one. It's giving Pennywise vibes, isn't it? Hey, there, Georgie. <laughs> oh, we've got progress. Look, almost. Say, no. Oh my God. No. I have a good feeling about this. No. <laughs> The easy clip is the next accessory that's included. And this is where you can really start thinking outside the box. <laughs> He's so excited. Tux, sit, sit, paw. Yeah, good boy. Catch. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Drop. Good boy. Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at this. The Go 3 is helping me catch priceless moments with this beautiful dog that I've borrowed. I wonder how it would look like if we put the camera on his collar. Sit. Four. Yeah, good boy. All right, cat. Oh. Hey, hey. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Next up is the pivot stand, which is equally as versatile as the easy clip. It has this little ball and socket joint, so you can easily manipulate your camera and face it in different directions. And there's built-in quarter-inch mount, so you can attach it to a variety of conventional accessories that are already out there on the market. But by far the most unique and convenient feature of the pivot stand is the reusable sticky base. With this, you can mount the camera to all sorts of flat surfaces. And all you have to do to reuse the sticky base is clean it with some water before allowing it to dry. And finally, we have the lens guard, which it pretty much does what it says on the tin. It cards your lens. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that one. Her thinking he's out cheating, him. Ah, oh, almost. My main takeaway from having played around with this camera for a little while now is that it's ideal for anybody that's looking to self-record, especially for those who are looking to record from their own point of view. And the fact that this camera can so easily clip onto, well, almost pretty much anything in a non-obtrusive way makes it an ideal camera to use whilst you're going about your daily life. Hello. <laughs> Insta360 have also upgraded the audio on the Go 3 over the previous versions, so you get crisp and clear audio when you're out and about. 17 balloons. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Um.
I didn't think that through. I let go of the stream. I let go of the stream. <laughs> Who am I kidding? So here's where the Insta360 GO 3 really moves away from the older Insta360 GO cameras and establishes its own identity. And it comes with this case here called the Action Pod. And this thing here totally changes the way the camera operates compared to its predecessors in a number of ways. And the one thing that comes in clutch for the average user is the huge boost that it brings to the camera in battery life. Out of the pod on its own, the GO 3 can shoot an average of up to 45 minutes, which is an already impressive 50% jump up from the GO 2. However, once you pair it with the Action Pod, you get an average of 170 minutes. A new feature of the Action Pod is called Live Preview. It basically allows you to monitor the shot that you're taking with the GO 3 remotely by using the flip touchscreen after you've mounted it somewhere else. Look, I can see myself on the Action Pod. Hello. <laughs> Hello, camera. Come back. Another cool feature of the Action Pod is this little flip touchscreen. Attach the camera to the mini tripod and let the flip screen take the guesswork out of framing for you for when you're out and about, vlogging, snapping selfies, or in my case, doing some goblet squats. Yeah. How's my form? Incredible. And the screen itself makes it pretty easy to navigate the various settings and functionalities of the camera. You just press the Q button located on the side of the action pod, and then you can either tap on the Q to scroll, or just simply swipe with your finger to choose a shooting mode, and then you're good to go. And on the screen here, we have something called free frame mode. And in the previous generation of the Go cameras, it was referred to as pro video. Huh? Exactly. In a nutshell, it allows you to alter the aspect ratio of your video without cropping the content in your frame. So in the free frame mode, more than you need gets captured. And then later in the edit, you can then decide how you want your video to fit your screen. And the best thing is that you can take advantage of the free frame mode from your phone. Uh, you can choose all these different ratios. So 16, 9, 916, the vertical, and you can choose square as well. We love a classic. If I want to reframe it just because maybe the shot wasn't perfect to begin with, you hold down the screen and then you can change the frame. So it's very handy for reframing. Yeah, you could do this on your phone, but when it comes to making longer form content, like the video you guys are watching right now, I prefer doing this on a desktop app. Those are all the real flagship design changes out of the way, but there are a few more important upgrades over the older Insta360 GO range that make it worth the upgrade. Who doesn't love a jump in video quality? And now the GO 3 supports 2.7K 30fps performance over the GO 2's 1440p, which is only a relatively small step up, but it does make a difference. And the record length limitation has also been done away with, which is actually a great addition. Previously, the record length of a clip on the older model was a maximum of 30 minutes or less if the camera were to overheat. But now, thankfully, you can extend your recordings beyond that. And the GO 3 is more adept at dissipating heat, meaning that it's less likely to overheat too. Ready? Ready? Oh, it's so close. Boost it! So, what have we discovered? 17 balloons. Let's do how many balloons it takes to lift you up. We'll be here for months. I'm at an age now where I can't take risks like that. I mean, I am saying that whilst being very, very high up in the air. Jesus. Jeez, look at that. This camera has actually been a bundle of joy to use. I love having something so tiny and discreet with me when I'm on the go. And if you feel like you could also benefit from the Insta360 GO 3, check out the link in my description. What a beautiful way to end the day. And last but certainly not least, we have the voice control feature. And you can give the camera basic commands like, take a photo, or to tell it, start recording. Now, I've been informed that as of now, it only supports two languages, English and Chinese. So unless you speak fluent Mandarin, like myself, obviously, then you may have to wait for more languages to roll out in a future update. Let me try a thing. Ding shi liu ying. Oh, it worked. Yeah? How's my Chinese? Have I smashed it? Gang xin min dig wen gan. 